Welcome to Faith and Freedom. For the next few minutes, we hope to inform, inspire, and encourage you as we discuss the legal victories and challenges to your fundamental freedoms and religious liberties. Faith and Freedom comes to you from Liberty Council, a civil liberties education and legal defense organization. Join us now as Matt Staber, the President and General Counsel of Liberty Council, explains the latest legal issues all across this country in the courtrooms of America. Liberty Council is winning the battle for your constitutional freedoms. Planned Parenthood has been caught on tape supporting and conspiring with child sex trafficking. I am Matt Staver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council and dean of Liberty University School of Law. Joining me is Matt Barber, director of cultural affairs for Liberty Council and also associate dean for the law school. Matt, there is a tape that is out now by liveaction.org, which is Lila Rose. And by the way, she's coming to speak at Liberty University in our awakening event, which we'll talk about later. But this tape is an undercover tape that exposes Planned Parenthood's conspiracy to promote and and uh, be involved with child sex trafficking. Yeah, a, a man and a woman posing as a, a pimp and prostitute entered a uh, Planned Parenthood in New Jersey, spoke with the manager of that location, uh, confided in her that they were engaged in child sex trafficking with children as young as 13 years old and that they needed uh, STD testing and con- contraception for their f- uh, female underage sex slaves. Uh, and th- that they uh, wanted to make it look at look as legitimate as possible. You have to watch this video, and uh, we'll have it uh, linked on Liberty Council's uh, YouTube page. But uh, it is absolutely breathtaking. This woman with, with just a cavalier attitude jokes uh, about this sex trafficking and tells him how to get around the law and how to cover up uh, uh, laws in the state of New Jersey and elsewhere and how to help facilitate uh, STD testing and get birth control for these children. Does she call the police? No. She jokes about it and conspires with him to cover it up. It's breathtaking. Yeah, the clinic manager, Amy Woodruff, of Planned Parenthood Central New Jersey's uh Center there called the Perth Amboy Center warns the pimp and his prostitute that are undercover to have their trafficked underage girls lie about their age to avoid mandatory reporting laws, promising, quote, even if they lie, just say, oh, he's the same age as me, 15. It's just that mainly 14 and under, we have to, doesn't matter if their partner's the same age, younger, whatever, 14 and under, we have to report, she says. For the most part, we want as little information as possible. This is a quote that is on this video, undercover video, and this is the Planned Parenthood manager of this clinic telling them to lie. Uh, They don't want to show that these uh, kids are, you know, involved in sex trafficking. They also don't want to show that there's an adult versus a male or an adult versus a minor there because they need to have, uh, you know, child uh, uh, prostitution laws and and, uh, other kinds of laws that would kick in. Yeah. And and unfortunately, you know, do we see this uh, plastered all over the the mainstream media? What, you know, uh, is CNN doing stories? Is the New York Times have a front page story on this? Of course not, because it doesn't fit the narrative and because um, in large part the media is full of liberals who support Planned Parenthood. But this is just another example. How many times does Planned Parenthood have to be caught red handed with irrefutable evidence breaking the law, uh, facilitating uh, uh, and, and helping and aiding adult uh, sexual predators who are raping young girls here in this case uh, uh, unbelievably helping and aiding in sex trafficking at least this woman believes that that's what she's she's doing how many times does do these things have to occur across the country before uh conservatives in congress get serious and yank the 350 plus million dollars a year yeah. of your and my uh taxpayer funds that are going to to aid this criminal activity by this you know, and, criminal and, and enterprise. that should have been done during the bush administration when we had a president who was republican a senate republican and a house republican and they sat on their hands and yeah. that's the reason why we lost no the 2008 election to people who have radical pro-abortion ideas because they didn't govern any different now we've got a 
new set of people in Washington, D.C. following the 2010 election, and they are intent on the House side to defund Planned Parenthood. We need to hold their feet to the fire. There is absolutely no reason why we should have one penny of federal or state dollars going to Planned Parenthood, whether it's a funding directly or indirectly abortion. They may say, well, the money is not directly going to abortion clinics of Planned Parenthood, but if you give money to Planned Parenthood at all, they can divert their money that they otherwise would have to use to fund those other non-abortion operations and then shift all the other money to Mm -hmm. fund abortion. So you're funding it directly or indirectly. Not one penny of our dollars should go to fund this Holocaust. In this particular video, uh, the clinic... uh, office manager is asked uh, you know about abortions and she's also asked how soon after these young minors have an abortion how soon after that can they have sex again because the pimp wants to put them out there for more okay, sex. How, how soon after can they be raped again yeah, is, how, is, how soon is, after yeah. can they be molested by you know perverted men yeah and and that's exactly what it is. Uh, and and she, and to watch this, and to she, see she, her, she just her, allows that. She just condones. She laughs. It. Her callous. Uh, it's just. It's wicked, Matt. It's absolutely wicked. And you know, this is not the first time, as we pointed out, that Lila Rose has busted uh, Planned Parenthood dozens upon dozens of time. Time she's exposed them as white supremacists, as racists, as uh, uh, as the founder of Planned Parenthood, Margaret Sanger, was um, embraced eugenics. Um, uh, so too does Planned Parenthood today, uh, setting up shop in minority neighborhoods, uh, engaging really in genocide in African American and Hispanic neighborhoods across the country. The website says this, the live action website, this proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that Planned Parenthood intentionally breaks straight state and federal laws and covers up the abuse of the young girls it claims to serve, said Lila Rose. Time and time again, Planned Parenthood has set young girls back into the arms of their sent young girls back into the arms of their abusers. They don't deserve a dime of the hundreds of millions they receive in federal funding from taxpayers. Congress must cease funding and the Department of Justice should investigate this corrupt organization immediately into that I say amen. Amen. And Lila Rose is actually our kickoff speaker on April 8 at Liberty University for the Awakening 2011. Uh, it starts at 10 o'clock. It's going to be in the Vines Center. And in the Vines Center, she'll be speaking to over 10,000 people when it's simulcast also in Thomas Road Baptist Church. And we'll also have it on the web and also uh, on television. She is our lead-off speaker for The Awakening 2011. You can go to the Awakening 2011 uh, dot com, the Awakening 2011 dot com, and on that website you can sign up. It's a free uh, event, The Awakening 2011, but you have to get tickets. And so go there, make sure that you have a reserved ticket. Not only is Lila Rose our lead-off speaker for The Awakening 2011. But also we have a number of speakers. Uh, It'll go through uh, Friday afternoon, Friday night, and then uh, with with an event all day on Saturday with a number of speakers from around the country. Matt Barber will be one of the speakers uh, that will be there. I'll be a speaker. We'll have another a number of politicians and uh, community and organizing uh, uh, leaders around the nation. And then on Saturday night, Sonic Flood will be uh, giving a concert uh, and addressing the issues that affect us and that we face in America today. So go to the Awakening 2011. Dot com. It'll be a great opportunity for people around the country to come to Liberty University for that two-day event. Well, it, it's something else that we really don't have time to get into great detail uh, with about this this uh, uh, sting operation Lila Rose engaged in is the issue of sex trafficking. And that's something that we're getting more and more involved with at Liberty Council in, in trying to fight against uh, the, the horrific ab- uh, abuses of young women from uh, not just uh, other con- other nations, but right here in the United States, Runaways and others who are uh, abused uh, by individuals who take advantage of them, uh, and and it's just a, a horrific state of affairs. And that's something that Congress, I think, needs to start focusing more as well. No question about it. Uh, go to Liberty Council's website for more information. As we stand for life, uh, we also have uh, this um, 
YouTube uh, clip here that you ought to see from live action. You can go to Liberty Council's website, lc.org, for more information to watch this clip uh, produced by live action. Go to lc.org. And then sign up for The Awakening. You can do that either at the Liberty Council website or you can go to the freedomfederation.org website or you can go to our special website, theawakening2011.com, theawakening2011.com. That's April 8 and 9. Make reservations now. It's a free event, but tickets are required, so you need to get your tickets now and register for this event. Lila Rose is the lead-off speaker on April 8 at 10 o'clock on Friday. That's when the Awakening 2011 begins. It continues through Saturday night. Sonic Flood will be uh, concluding that two-day event with a concert that you won't want to miss. So go to the Awakening 2011 Dot com And visit lc.org for more information. Stand with Liberty Council in prayer and your financial support as we continue to stand for life. You have been listening to Matt Staver of Liberty Council. Our hope is to encourage and inspire you to stand up for your faith, family, and freedoms. We can accomplish a lot when we work together. Get informed and get involved today. Sign up for our free monthly newsletter, The Liberator. We will send it out to you free of charge. Stay informed with our Liberty Alert email update. Just click on the website at www.lc.org or call us at 1-800-671-1776. Tune in next time to learn more about your rights right here on Faith and Freedom. 